Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm not in my room, I am at a campground. I'm currently on a three week camping trip, so it's really cool in this day and age how you can have electricity and Wi-Fi to make videos on the go. In this video we will not be talking about minors, as in people under the age of 18. We will be talking about degree minors. There are also a lot of flies around outdoors, so if I blink or wave my hand that is the reason why. So, what exactly is a degree minor? Well, for some context, degree majors consist of usually about 120 credits of coursework. The first 60 credits towards the total 120 credits is lower division work that are usually used to fulfilled an associates, an AA. Those courses usually span over a whole plethora of different majors, humanities, social sciences, arts, and the like. Now, your remaining 60 credits that you take during your third and fourth year traditionally have to do with your specific degree major. So if I have a major in psychology, the first two years would be spent taking courses, sociology, anthropology, writing, basic math, and those remaining 60 credits for my last two years would be spent majority in psychology coursework. For me, I'm a chemistry major, those 60 remaining credits will be taken in just chemistry courses. So minors are typically about 30 credits of coursework in that specific minor area. So if I were to have a minor in art, I would take about five art classes. So minors are really great because they help diversify your education and really enrich it. It looks better when applying to graduate school or applying for a job. It makes you look like you are your education is more well-rounded. Or you can take it as an interest or a hobby. If you want an English or art minor, then screw it, because your education is for you. And most people can't spell, so an English minor would not hurt. Really, your degree, your minor is for you. Do whatever you're interested in. Minors can be easy to fulfill if they're associated or closely related to your major. So if you have a neuroscience major that typically overlaps with psychology, you can use your upper division electives that would also fulfill a psychology minor requirement. Or say you have a physics major, there's a lot of math required for physics, so it'd be pretty easy to get a math minor. You can also have a minor that does not relate to your major as much. For me, I'm a chemistry major, and I'm trying to get a computer science minor, which will partly consist of me trying to convince the advisor that I will do it and graduate on a timely manner, because the computer science minor requirements do not overlap with the chemistry major at all. So I want to get a computer science minor with my chemistry major because in the chemistry field there are a lot of machines used to analyze compounds that all use programs to run those machines. As the field becomes more data oriented you can use programs to analyze that data and come to conclusions a lot quicker than looking at things by hand. Some majors mid make it um, nearly impossible to get a minor um, so in some cases it's not possible if it is possible for you to get a minor i highly suggest it i think it is a really great way to branch out and make most of your college experience this video was suggested by one of my friends so thank you for that if you have any suggestions for videos uh, related to college chemistry something like that um, let me know you can comment on this video or dm me on one of my social platforms in the description so that is all for this video. My name is Toucan Ken. I post videos every Tuesday, 1 p.m., usually about university life or chemistry in one way or another. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.